A genuine attempt to reach agreement about arrangements for the children is to be made before going to court. This can be through one of the services that provide family dispute resolution. There are some exceptions to the requirements to try dispute resolution. They are, you are responding to a court application, you have reached an agreement, a person is incapacitated or lives in a remote area which prevents them from taking part, there has been abuse or risk of abuse to a child or adult, there has been or there is a risk of family violence, there is some sort of urgency. Sometimes it may be okay to take part in dispute resolution even if there has been violence. This would be only if the person who has been the victim wants to and arrangements to ensure that person's safety are put in place. Conditions in a domestic violence order will need to allow family dispute resolution to happen. Provided it is safe, dispute resolution can allow victims of family violence to be involved in arrangements for the children in a way that may not be possible in the court. It can help give them some power and control over their lives. Legal aid family law conferencing may be a good option as a lawyer can be present, enforceable orders can be made at the conference and safety procedures can be in place. If you are a victim of family violence and you still want to try dispute resolution, you should get legal advice about both family dispute resolution and the court process. Of course, if there are serious ongoing concerns or threats regarding family violence or child abuse, you should get legal advice immediately and talk to the police. More information about other dispute resolution services is coming up in Chapter 6.